But first, when we say all access, we're not kidding. We recently tagged along with the Titans for their trip out east against perennial powerhouse Syracuse. And as Justin White tells us, the Titans' man in the middle is also their man out in front. It's hard not to like Eli Holman. He's always smiling. Boy, I'm like Tim Duncan out here. Oh! Always laughing. <laughs> and always talking. Keep Jackson off the glass. That's their heart and soul. Jackson is their heart and soul. You know what I'm saying? We gotta play with heart. That's what we gotta do. We play with heart, man. We unstoppable. Every team needs a guy like Eli, especially on the road. You never have to feel shy around him. He's always, you know, come up, make sure everyone knows what to do. You don't even have to ask questions with him. He's already telling you. Hey, upperclassmen, to the plane, upperclassmen. Hey. Hey, upperclassmen, to the plane, baby. Wrap that up, Pete. We out. Hey, man, we, hey, man good luck, baby. What did I help out? When they're on the road, the Titans are always together. From traveling to team meals to film sessions and shoot-arounds. Everything they do, they do it as a family. Let's go. Let's get it in. It creates a strong bond because you have nobody but to rely on but the next guy. On this trip, Eli is rooming with freshman Connor Clark and leaves no question about who's the boss. Hey, Rumi, mine is the one with the truck mix on the side. Hey, this hotel nice. You got a pond. You can go swimming up. You go swimming in the front. We go swimming in the front, man. That's what I'm talking about. You got fishing here. If you want to go fishing. Being in this environment can make a freshman feel like a guppy in an ocean. Fortunately, Connor has an experienced roommate to lean on. I understand you want, you want to shoot around and have some yeah. fun and yeah. stuff, but you know, it's, it's no. serious now. No, no, exactly. we, got, we got the opportunity to upset the top 10 team in the country. That's exactly right. He's been at the college level for a few years, so he obviously knows what he's doing. And, you know, last, last week or last game at New Mexico, he taught me a lot. Connor is also learning that Eli has more skills than dunking and crashing the boards. It surprised me a little bit. He was singing some Elvis last night. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't sure what he listened to, but I, I mean, now I know. It's game day morning. While his teammates are still fast asleep, Eli is already getting pumped up for the game. All right, come on. Six, okay. Every day I get up in the morning and I lift. I wake up for all the guys. I lift. I get my lift in. So when they see me, I'm energetic. I'm up. So then I can pass that vibe on to them. So it's game day. It's time. It's time to go to work. It's time to put on your business suit. It's time to, and it's time to lace them up tight. And it's time to get in there and let's throw the first punch. The Carrier Dome can hold more than 30,000 people for a basketball game. That's more than three times capacity at Callahan Hall. Combine that with the tradition of a program like Syracuse, and this could be the biggest game the Titans play all season. This is a tremendous challenge with the, uh, the concept of being in the Dome. Uh, but if you're going to be an NCAA tournament, you're going to be playing in this kind of venue. So let's get used to it now. As game time draws closer, the normally laid-back Eli is putting on his game face. Push up, white, 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 white. So you can't have the nice guy mentality on the court, you know, because the opponent team's not going to be nice to you. How much do you guys rely on that it's us against the world mentality when it comes to playing in an environment like this? 120 percent because it's a hostile environment. You got student sections against us. You got when that whenever there's a call made for us, the crowd is in an uproar that it, that it's the wrong call. So you know, it's, it feel like everybody's against us. You know, all, all we have is everybody that's red, white, and blue. Soon it will be time to tip off against the orange. For Eli and the rest of the Titans, it will take everything they've got. You gotta come in here and fight with blood, sweat, and tears, and that's what it's gonna come down to. Stay together on three. One, two, three, stay, stay together. together. First class traveler Justin White reporting. Justin, thanks.